Hello, I hope you're excited for today's Unit 9 project, the gallery project. Uh, we're going to start with uh, do do now. If you haven't completed do now yet, please complete it. Uh, and you can pause that to do so and make sure you submit it. Um, and now we're going to review it. Okay, so our do now today is about cereals. I love cereal, you know, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Definitely one of the most um, best meals and easiest to make. Um, so this, this um, do now is, you know, use arrays and also array index uh, to choose the best cereal. So we're gonna update the code so it displays the best cereal, okay? So right now the best cereal is Raisin Bran, which is obviously false. The best cereal is actually Frosted Flakes. So we have a variable called best cereal and it uses the array cereals and pulls the fifth, um, uh, fifth using the fifth index, all right? So zero, one, two, three, four, five, gives us Raisin Bran. We actually want Frosted Flakes. So that index is zero. If we make that update there, we can clearly see Frosted Flakes is actually the best cereal. Okay. Now, uh, back to the slides. You all have learned so much in this unit. You learned how to use and create arrays, retrieve an element from an array like we just kind of did using the index, how to iterate over an array using a for, a for of loop, uh, you learn about array elements like dot push and dot length. We're going to put that all together to build a photo gallery app. All right. So here, look at that lovely burger. I wish I had a burger right now. Uh, we have this app. It's a photo gallery app. All right. So we have our cheeseburgers here, our tacos, and our pizza. Wow, this is making me hungry. All right. I'm going to add another uh, picture to this app. Uh, picture of some ice cream. All right. Some coffee or Oreo ice cream. So I'm gonna grab the image address here, plug it in, all right? And now we have um, some ice cream in our gallery, right? So you're gonna build something like that, okay? So first thing you're gonna do is think about what you notice about this project, what you think it will take to build this, uh, what you already know how to build out of all this stuff and what you, what you need to learn. All right, so take a second to do that. Pause this video if you need to. All right, make sure you are making a copy of the project plan and working through it. All right, so I'm gonna open the project plan here. All right, so there's a few things we need to do. We need to make sure that the user can see the photos displayed in a uniform way. We need to add, be able to add, the user should be able to add images to the gallery. You want to make sure that the old images are not replaced by the use new ones. Okay. Uh, if you have some extra time, you want to have captions under each one of these uh, images. You want to be able to clear um, the input field after new information is added. Show an error message if the user doesn't enter a uh, picture or a name. And when the user interacts with the image, something could happen. All right. So you're going to be using maybe arrays, maybe loops, maybe array methods to do all this stuff, right? Um, so as you plan out your project, you're gonna have to think about what the theme will be. I chose food. Uh, you can choose something else, uh, maybe your TV sh favorite TV shows or manga. Uh, what would the first three items be included in your photo gallery? It kind of shows up on the page. Um, and then what's the purpose of the method push in your own words, all right? So you're gonna be able to need to use that to complete this project, build out your wireframe. Right, what do you want your page to look like? And then start writing your JavaScript pseudocode so you can get started. Okay. All right, so you're going to go through the starter code, which is located here. And make sure you review and read your starter code, note you have. Um, Load. Okay. So this nice little starter code, this background, you can change it. Right. And if you get stuck, make sure you're using your reference table. You make sure you're using Google. You can email uh, a friend or a teacher. Right. And go ahead and get started.